In this video, you're going to learn how to convert from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. And we're going to go through four examples together. So the first thing that you want to know and to memorize is that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, or you could say 180 degrees is equal to pi radians, they're equivalent. And so we're going to use that fact to convert from one unit measure to another unit measure. Now, say we're given an angle here in radians, like pi over 20. What we do is we multiply by 180 degrees divided by pi. And the reason that we set it up this way is because 180 and pi are really the same. So anything divided by itself is 1, and then 1 times this fraction, it doesn't change the value, it just changes the units. So it's going to change the way that it looks. And the other reason we set it this way is because the pi in the denominator is going to cancel with the pi in the numerator here. So that goes in there one time. And when we multiply now, we can say 1 times 180 is 180. Uh, 20 times 1 is 20. And 20 goes into 180 nine times, so it's 9 degrees. So what this means is pi over 20 radians is equivalent to 9 degrees. Now, let's do a problem in the other way now. Say they're giving us the angle in degrees, but we want to convert it into radians. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by a conversion factor, but in this case, we're going to write it as pi over 180. Now, the reason we set this up this way instead of 180 over pi is so that the degree units in the denominator will cancel with the degree units in the numerator. And you can think of 110 as like 110 over 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself. You can do a little bit more cross uh, reducing here. You could say 10 goes into 110 11 times and 10 goes into 180 18 times. So now when you multiply the numerators together and denominators together, you're getting 11 pi over 18 radians, and you got it. Let's look at another example. So here we're given radians. Now you might be saying, Mario, how do you know that this is in radians? Well, you'll know if it's in degrees because you'll see that little degree unit symbol. If it doesn't have that, then you know that it's going to be in radians. And so when you set this up, you're going to set it up like 180 divided by pi. This way, the pi and the denominator cancels with the pi in the numerator, and we're left with the units which we want, which are the degrees. So it's kind of like a dimensional analysis or uh, unit conversions. Now you can do some more reducing top and bottom or on the diagonals. So here I can see that 18 goes in here once, 18 goes in here 10 times, and then when I multiply across, 5 times 10 is 50 degrees, and you got it. Okay, last example, see if you can try this one. We're going from degrees, 36 degrees, to radians. So what do we want to multiply by here? Well, you're going to set this up as times 1 over 180. And the reason I chose this instead of the reciprocal is that so the degree units in the denominator cancel with the degree units in the numerator. And we're going to be left with pi radians. Now I can do a little bit more reducing here. 36 goes in here once, 30 goes, 36 goes into 185 times. Then when I multiply the numerators together, I get pi, and 1 times 5 is 5. So this is going to be pi over 5 radians. So great job if you're able to follow these examples. Now, if you're wondering what exactly is a radian, and you want to understand that at a deeper level, follow me over to that video I did right there talking about radians and how we actually think about radians. I'll see you in that video.